there's this uh, pervasive urban myth that only people inside the Waterson Expressway could drink any kind of beer other than Bud Light. And we set out to prove that wrong, and I think we did. About one week from today, this beautiful pavilion behind me will be transformed from its current empty state into the Jefferson Town Craft Beer Festival. I try to stay on top of all the Louisville beer events and beer releases and everything, but I have to admit I didn't know much about this one, so I was very excited to sit down with the event's organizers and learn a little bit more about the J-Town Craft Beer Fest. We were told that same myth, you know, people outside, it's going to be a lot of education. It has been a lot of education on, on a lot of different beers, but it's not, it hasn't been the education that I thought it would be. It's the advantage more, is people like to drink beer here. That's exactly right. So it was an easy sell. <laughs> What's great about this festival, it's a summer fest. So it's lighter beers, it's your summer seasonals. And if you're just getting into the craft beer market, um, it's a great way to try a whole bunch of beers that are very approachable as well. Uh, we've got 35 breweries. That's awesome. Um, and you know, we're with our partners at River City and Cox's Smokers Outlet and Third Turn. Um, so we're able to bring out a, actually uh, a Cox's Kentucky Corner, that's what we've called it last year. Last that's year, that's something year. that we added. Um, pulling out our Kentucky breweries and highlight them, kind of like we, what we do with Tailspin. Um, but they're, they're gonna be in their own tents and they'll be beer on draft. It speaks to Louisville and Kentucky as a whole. I mean, the amount of breweries and beers that have popped up in the last five years in Kentucky is unbelievable. Um, so obviously we're trying to expand our selection as much as possible and continue to kind of keep up with the demand. I mean, J-Town's always been a strong supporter, supporter of us. We have two stores in J-Town. Um, and actually, I mean, to, to the point of people in, don't think J-Town's a big beer drinking outside of the Budweiser Bud Light, our store in J-Town is probably our number one beer store inside Louisville, and it's our number one craft store inside Louisville. Folk, folks, are, folks are getting excited about their neighborhoods and their neighborhood beers. We, we've always said that the best thing that could ever happen is that challenge where someone from one neighborhood brings over their friends from another neighborhood and says, this is where I drink, this is what I have, and these are the good beers here. And you, you love seeing that. While we're bringing more exotic beers to the area, these younger people that come out that are experienced in this kind of beer bring their friends and they see our downtown and they see the three or four new restaurants that have opened and Third Turd being one of the leaders in that and it, it builds for the whole city. Well I'm super excited guys yeah. and if, for everybody who's you know into craft beer in Louisville come out to J-Town it's going to be a phenomenal day we're gonna beat the heat we're gonna hang out Good beer, good food, good people, and a great, great, great uh, neighborhood in Louisville. And to me, that's, that's cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. cheers.